<laughs> my physics teacher, I'm not even like a jingo, like my country right or wrong, but I just, I, I am a patriot. But my physics teacher, same vein, it's not like Don't I'm a jingo. Have, oh, from last year. But, <laughs> I would never take physics here, I hate physics. But, I did tell him one time, come in your class with like shooting myself in the face over and over again. <laughs> I asked him the headmaster and he let me go after five minutes. But anyway, my physics teacher was the biggest douchebag. But he was born in some Middle Eastern country, and he had really, really blue eyes. So I don't know if he was Middle Eastern or not. But anyway, he went. He just. He just. Maybe he's like spills my bullshit out of his mouth. Like he, he is. He's worthless. My friend Tony is Caucasian. He's white. But he was he was born in Jamaica and he lived in Cuba for some time. White. <laughs> cool. 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 Okay, but, uh, no, well, because his father worked for British Columbia. Really? Yeah. Being a real imperialist. What's wrong with that? A lot of things. <laughs> uh, but then they were expelled from Cuba and moved to Coral Gables, Florida. Somehow he ended up in California. Now he's a sound engineer and gets to meet a lot of cool musicians. Your ears were also moving in a really <laughs> weird way. Right? I have small uh, ears. Where's the beard? Where's the beard? Tiny ears. Where's the beard? Freaking me out. Let's find Max or Adam so we can get more gear. Right, in conclusion, John F. Kennedy was easily one of the greatest American presidents. Not necessarily for his accomplishments. His presidency was tragically cut short but for the hope that he was able to inspire a generation of young Americans, for the principles that he espoused as a Democratic Party candidate, and ultimately for the impact that he made on Amer young Americans across this nation. My coke is in. That's all I've got. <laughs>